is an example of um, something I've had on my wall that was the original design for the Dylan's Candy Bar flagship in New York. Um, this is one of 10 candy canes that I love. It's um, three different colors. It's literally faded now. Um, the designers for the store were trying to match the blue uh, of the peppermint circus stick um, and trying to design candy cane columns to create this more Willy Wonka-esque experience, uh, starting with this little sample and this little sample. And uh, it's so, oh, here's the company. How funny. Um, we had a ribbon candy wall in that New York flagship, which we actually transferred and made it a chocolate wall. Um, but it's just super fun um, when you're designing products because you kind of eating them along the way and uh, this I've also had for I don't know how many years but our columns are literally 10 feet tall and much wider and not edible but people think they are so that's what's fun and why it's fun to shop with them. So I'm in the process of finalizing the holiday collection and the Hanukkah collection um, and it's been a very fun but long process, more, more so than I thought, only because I love it so much and there's so many options. As you can see, there's tons of candy cane combinations based on all of our candy canes that we designed to be in our stores and that we sell as product. They always remind me of a fashion striped tie or ribbon belt. And I just love the colors, but when you want each letter to be different and play against the other one well, the thick stripe, the thin stripe, and the other stripe have to look good with the other letter. So it's been a lot of taking one candy cane with pink, red, and you know hot pink, and then seeing if it looks good together, but that kind of clashes. So then you had to move one that didn't have the same colors next to it. And then I worked with uh, my friend and graphic designer who I actually um, worked with on our original logo 20 years ago almost um, to do this. Um, and so then she would turn them into letters uh, in a font that I felt looked like actual candy canes, which eventually will be on all the packaging and uh, three-dimensionalized in the windows. The challenge was then with Happy Hanukkah, which I was trying to stay with the theme colors, which is our turquoise royal blue yellow, white. Uh, there's only so many colors that I wanted to use, so I didn't want them all to look the same. So we started dealing with Pantones in every shade of blue. Uh, and so I've been cutting out the different letters, literally, from the printer I have here and trying to put them together to see. They're all a little different. You can't totally see from this, but this is a little darker and then the, 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 depending on the thickest stripe. But it's a big process, so hopefully people will appreciate <laughs> when they actually see the finished product and finished logo, um, how much TLC went into it. So we'll, we'll see. Wishing everybody a very colorful holiday season. Um, we certainly hope everyone will have a sweet one with the stuff we're making and designing right now. And uh, hopefully 2021 will be a lot better and sweeter than 2020.